Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, this is One Black British Woman's Voice, and today I want to talk about freedom of speech. I often hear white people bark about the sanctity of freedom of speech and how it should be liberally applied to all vocalised thoughts. Freedom of speech has been enshrined as a crowning glory of democracy, and for that reason the word is banded about to legitimise every utterance of tongue, because, hey, any kind of censorship would be against democracy, right? But you see, this is the problem. Freedom of speech has a different meaning to white people than it does to everyone else. For instance, when black people avow freedom of speech, it's to critique topical issues such as the ape-like pervasiveness of white supremacy and the collateral damage that comes with living in it. It's to angrily challenge the inconsistencies of justice and hypocrisy, lies and perversions of the Neanderthals that knuckle-drag their existence all over non-white people's lives. But when white people lasso the neck of freedom of speech and straddle its baying behind, they only ever use it to express hate. For instance, calling non-white people derogatory names, generalising every non-white as a stereotype and using pseudo-scientific tests and studies to voice misguided claims of superiority is freedom of speech. Marching down the streets waving tiki torches and mewling about being a dwindling race and somehow linking that demise to black people is freedom of speech. Claiming that you're superior and using that fairy tale logic to excuse subjugation, institutional racism and every other form of discrimination created and promoted by whites is freedom of speech. Hitler's platform rants about Africans and gypsies is freedom of speech. Waving the British flag to bark that Muslims and non-whites are the epicentre for all your first world white person problems is freedom of speech. But have you spotted the common theme here? You see how none of these examples are virtuous. But for some reason, those examples are the only contexts in which white people suddenly claim that they're simply exercising freedom of speech. Meanwhile, black people like Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech was freedom of speech. Eric Gardner, sorry, Erica Gardner protesting her father's murder by the police is freedom of speech. Rest in peace, Queen. Malcolm X's comments uh, on, on refusing to endure white people's feral denomination is freedom of speech. Anything that Muhammad Ali, Soldier Taylor, Sam Sharp, uh, the Indian Mangal Pande, Steve Biko, Nelson Mandela had to say was all freedom of speech. The Brixton protests in the 80s against the degenerate police was freedom of speech. Kneeling down before an NFL game is freedom of speech. Black Lives Matter is freedom of speech. And all these examples are paradigms of what black people use freedom of speech for. So you see, white people, you're not allowed to use the term freedom of speech anymore because like the lumbering special needs child with a short circuit and no discipline, you grab it and you fuck it up. Like Robert Maxwell, who spent his employee's pension fund, you misappropriate it. And like the hipsters that move into solid, diverse communities and open up their boutique coffee shops and shit art galleries, you purposefully spoil it. Nothing that you say which has to be justified by ending your moan with it's freedom of speech is ever freedom of speech because it's always nothing more than hate speech. Anyway, I'm glad to have educated you. This is One Black British Woman's Voice and I'm out.